You probably disagree. I'm probably, probably yeah. I completely disagree, Corbin. Uh, that's probably right. <sighs> I've never liked a Tom Cruise film. Uh, that's not true. Uh, I've never had sex with a hippo. Understood the fact. What the hell is on your hand? Uh, my daughter gave me a stick oh, okay. before I got in here. Um, I never understood the fact that countries get to take credit for what Olympians do in the Olympics. So like Simone Biles, obviously, who is the greatest gymnast of all time, right? Um, the fact that the United States kind of gets to be like, yeah, USA, we won so many medals. I've never understood. Why? Because it's them. <laughs> A Tom Brady, even though they are going to have flag football in 2028 when it's here in L.A., which is hilarious. <laughs> there are some Olympic sports that I just don't understand. <laughs> which is going to be absolutely like very, golf. Very funny. But like, like, let's say the, the United States golf wins. Right. Yeah, USA. No, he won. Not me. I didn't do shit. But they're American. So? What does it have to do with their time and dedication that they put into it? That's what I'm saying. So, I think they so should like get all the, the credit. I don't think the country should get any credit. So like at the end of World War II, we shouldn't have celebrated as Americans because the soldiers were American? Okay. That's very different. <laughs> because that, that was basically a continuation of the war. <laughs> so that's different. But why? I'm talking now, modern day. Why? I don't understand why the United States, I feel so proud of her. And what she or uh -huh. the other people that win the medals, but I'm I don't understand why the countries get any credit at all. Then why? So for example, why should cities celebrate when their teams win? I think they're celebrating the the people, not the fact that it's. Oh, you know, they're celebrating the, the fact that it represents their city. Oh, then I don't agree with that at all either. I mean, maybe it's they have I've a never... parade through the city, and everybody's yes. like, "Yes, our city's the best." No, our our team. So, yeah, which represents the city. Well, do you see, I've never been a fan of a team that I've been in the city of. So <laughs> that still represents the city. No, it, that, yeah. if I go to an Atlanta Falcons parade the, when right. they win five Super Bowls in the next five years, uh, and I go to the Atlanta, I'm not celebrating Atlanta. I'm celebrating the team. No, for, that's first and foremost, just like we are celebrating Simone Biles first and foremost. But the fact that she's American. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I knew you wouldn't agree. Yeah, I don't agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. Ah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rick Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow Sanscrim, Twitter for more juicy Just content. Just got that. Patreon, Patreon follows to account, discover like button. Uh, so you don't get emotional with the national anthems played. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been emotional about the national anthem ever. Uh, anyways, today we got a this is a Akshay uh, water trailer. It comes out. Guess when? August August fifteenth. Uh, <laughs> this trailer Good came grief. out August first. Sorry we missed it. I don't know how I missed an Akshay film, but we did. And Tapsy, I guess, is in it. I, as well. I, I remember seeing uh, this somewhere. This is Kale uh, Kale Main uh, official trailer uh, with Akshay Kumar. One of the billion films coming out on August 15th. Yep, take a pick. Just roll the dice and find one, because there's going to be 57 to choose from. Uh, absolute insanity. <laughs> I don't know how people are going to, like, pick what they want to go see, because there's 10 billion films coming out. I, know. I don't know how that's smart. I, for I, know, I know. Of them. I know. That's just my humble opinion. Here we go. We are here with friends or couples, right? लेकिन किसके फोन में क्या है किसे पता क्या कर रहे हो फोन में काम कर रहा हूँ आखिर इस लगे बेबीज मर्दों का एक कोड होता है ये एक दूसरे के चक्कर कभी किसी को नहीं बताते कुछ लोग तो स्क्रीन ऊपर की तरफ करके भी नहीं रखते जी हमेशा बैकअप करके रखते हैं क्या बैकअप करके रखते हैं वो जी वो बैकअप तुम्हारे 
करेक्ट एक ही रूल है हम सातों के फोन रात खत्म होने तक पब्लिक प्रॉपर्टी मुझे नहीं खेलना है सच का सामना कुछ है क्या फोन में हमारे फोन पे तो कुछ नहीं है किसका टाइगर श्रॉफ उसको क्या चाहिए तेरी बीवी से I need your body, Sam. काश यहाँ होते मेरे बिस्तर में It's an unknown bloody number. इसके पहले कोई मैसेज नहीं है इस नंबर से एक काम करना उस पर फोन करके देख लेकिन तू अकेली है ना क्या तेरी वो कुतिया साज भी है आसपास <laughs> को किसी कॉल गर्ल एजेंसी का ईमेल आया है कौन मरा वो कॉल गर्ल कंसल्ट करना चाहती है प्लास्टिक सर्जरी के लिए सर्जरी कौन से करानी थी मैम वो प्लास्टिक ओ क्यों दी संत रेनू कलिंगड़ बना जिसे देखो फोन में मुंह धू से जिंदगी गुजार रहा है क्या है ये गुलामी बेबी वॉज गुलामी स्लेवरी किसको खेलना ये मनुष के बोलो खेलते रहो एक तो तुम हील में ऊपर चढ़ गई हो कुछ करना यार ऋषभ ये तो कूदे वाली है अबे ये भी तो कूदे वाला है कौन सा बूंदिया लूटने वाला ये तेरे को कूदा ना कूद ये बहन चुत कैसी आ रही है यार Looks like it could be fun. Yeah, looks an uh, interesting premise obviously of uh I guess what some men would call the guy code. Um I I put that in quotes because it's <laughs> Yeah, what what is the guy code? Something you've heard about. I'm not I'm not saying you follow it, but yeah. guys don't tell I mean it's essentially what he said. You know, the you, guys don't tell the, each other their secrets. Yeah, well, like more it's it's like a very toxic thing mm. that some guys think it's mostly like the bro type of guys yeah like they're having affairs you don't tell the wives about the affairs right. kind of thing right you keep the secret yeah, between each other it's bro code right bro code you don't you bro don't code. Un, you don't let the other one know that you're the husband's cheating cuz it's bro code yes. yeah that's really smart <laughs> essentially the other thing the i thing. don't understand is there any time anywhere that your wife would not be allowed to look at your phone You talking to me specifically? No. Of course not. No. But I'm not a, a if if, <laughs> a if your significant other is hiding something on their phone or doesn't like you looking at their phone, that's a big red flag. Yeah. My my wife can look at my phone anytime she wants um, and look at everything on my phone anytime she wants. Even the pornographic images? All of it. Oh, good lord. Some of it's of her. Oh, good lord. Um but yeah, that's some uh, of I'm it. assuming obviously The other's Ricky Martin. The, but she's okay with that. It's going to start off that way and yeah. then the guys are going to learn their lessons and you know become respectable men. I I liked what I saw at the end is that it looked like it's going to get like like people are going to start to find out things and there's going to be some twists. That's my hope. That there'll be a lot of twists that you don't see coming. A lot of people in that room. It started off as a game and then you're going to find out some people are cheating with each other in the room. Yeah. So I think it has potential. Yeah, it could be fun. Yeah. Uh I like actually he's looking at. I, yeah, he looked you very know, you know, often, very good. I haven't I'm trying to think. I haven't seen him a lot with his gray hair and I'm, He's been know. doing it recently. Yeah. Yeah, remember the last you liked the way he looked in the last trailer he did his hair was a little bit longer. What was the trailer? Uh, I don't remember. I, I don't remember the film. Yeah, I don't It's been within the past year. Okay. But he has let his gray, which everybody enjoy it. It's let it happen. It's Every, part of everybody but Rick looks good with it. I agree. Sure. Um yeah. But it depends as well. <laughs> There are points of the when your gray starts to come in. I was this way where when the gray first comes in it's not it doesn't look really good. Like when my gray first started to come in, I was so excited and I wanted it to come in. Mm -hmm. But it didn't look like it does right now. I wasn't salt and pepper. It was just starting to come in and it looked like my hair was dusty. Like I had put baby powder on it. It was very it was distracting. So I your, was coloring your face it is distracting because 
it it didn't it hadn't really grown in the right. But other than that, let it let it grow in. It looks good. Yeah, I think the movie could be real kind kind of interesting, kind of fun. Obviously, yeah, there's gonna hopefully. be a lot of a lot of humor there. Hopefully, like if we watch it, we get the humor. Yeah. Um. Obviously, I think there was some wording play that they even had in the trailer there. That yeah, that something like get... slavery. I don't know what that joke was. So, As is the case with most comedies, yeah. we, there's going to be colloquialisms and things that are euphemisms that we will miss in the language. Colloquialisms? Colloquialisms. What is that? A colloquialism is a particular type of wording that is specific to a region or a people group. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And so the, Word of the day. Yeah, colloquialism. Um, I bet you can't use that in one other reaction today. I bet I can. <laughs> I'll bet you the dollar. Oh, we're even. Yeah, we're even right yeah. now. Yeah. I need to come up with a, a, I need to come a, up with a hundred dollar bet and get my hundred dollars back from when you got that Oscar bet. That was insane. <laughs> Can't believe that happened. I happily gave you that hundred dollars uh, <laughs> <laughs> off a of photograph. Um, all the all the subsequent bets since then have been much smaller. Much smaller. <laughs> Nothing compares to that one. <laughs> That was so absurd. <laughs> Anyways, let us know what you thought about this. If you're excited for it, are you going to see this? this? Is like the yeah. first thing you're going to see on non the August fifteenth. You let us Good know. Good grief. Uh, anything else we need to know down below. Josh.